Japanese hollow is a fast rolling course that plays out like a natural surface road ride through the hills, hollows, ridges and valleys of Wasco County, skirting the southeastern edge of Mount Hood National Forest. This is Japanese Hollow 2018. So this is kind of fascinating. Fully loaded down, 28 pounds. That means I'm carrying 7 pounds worth of shit. But that's full water, two tubes, two burritos, two cameras, two wheels. Hey AJ, tell me about your bike. It's a Bike Friday Pocket Llama. Got it built custom for me last year. But I got 1.75 Marathon Plus. Probably weighs about 35 pounds with all this stuff on it. Over 40. Player. Hey, tell me about your bike. Uh, we got here a roughly three week old Breadwinner G Road in the matte finish of St. John's Bridge Green. Running 47 byways today, tubeless. Got the E Deluxe Light. Dynamo hub, one by 11 system. That's pretty much it, man. Fair no expense. Pro. Here you go. Pew! You got that guard. Hey Andrew, tell me about your bike. This is the Gunner Rattle Trap here. Classic Craigslist find, 100 bucks, making it work. What kind of brakes? We're running a combination of some candies here. What size tires are you running? 37s on here. Oh, 35 on the back, because we don't have a ton of clearance, do we? Hey, Eric, tell me about your bike. 2017 Salsa Fargo Rival with 650B plus tires, three inch wide, non tubeless. <laughs> so it's like a mid fat setup. And that's a, is that bike steel, right? Yeah. Hell yeah. Classic, classic. <laughs> you guys are all busted, you all have detention. Oh, you're the instigator? You started this whole thing. Opus Horizon 1, carbon fiber. This is essentially a road bike with clearance for, I believe it's up to 42s. So right now we're running 40s with fenders. Okay. Alex in the house. In the house. Hey Jerry, tell me about your bike. Okay, a 2017 Salsa Cutthroat. Carbon, a double on the front, and uh, up to 36 on the stern, so I've got some good gearing for an old guy. Oh, what size tires you got on there? 29, two and a quarter inch. You loving it? Yeah, loving it. Of all the OMTM rides, Japanese Hollow is definitely one of the mellower routes, which is kind of a nice change of pace but not too easy. Oh. 
Oh man, someone went down back there and it looked pretty serious. There was enough people standing around that, man. I hope everything is okay, but shit is real. Shit is real. Bean burrito, spinach, tortilla, and cheese. No fooling around, no monkey business. Roundup. I'm going to get a red um, jersey and red shorts and I've already got the red bike and we're gonna go say what's up to the O show. Yo this is gnarly. Super gnarly dude. Hey Ron, what kind of cheese pairing would you uh, match up to Japanese hollow? I would probably give it a, uh, I would do Pleasant Ridge Extra Reserve Gouda because we rode Pleasant Ridge Road. Pleasant Ridge Farms makes a good creamy kind of, uh, they do a multiple different uh, strata of ages, but uh, the good young creamy one will be good. It's a cheese that isn't aged for very long. Just like us, the uh, longer they age, the harder they get and gamier. Yes! You know, I'm Felt surprised it. at how little dog hair there is on you. That's very true, actually. Considering how much there is in that car. <laughs> dog hair galore. <laughs> OMTM Japanese Hollow, third ride of the season. No prob. That thing was chill. The ride by the numbers, four hours, 15 minutes, 55 miles, and 5,600 feet of elevation. Not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. Definitely not feeling very decimated from that ride, which is pretty cool. Feel just right. Yeah. I feel like I did a proper ride, but uh, just enough energy to go home, hang out, and not be a complete zombie. Yeah. Shot and, the next day. Yeah, and still do stuff tomorrow. Exactly. That's not even. Although, there's times where you want to be decimated. Yeah, it feels good. It does feel good. So you put 105% into that. That's true too. If I would have put more effort into that ride, it would have felt gnarlier. I just wasn't trying hard enough. Cruising. Oh, shit. Luxury ground. That ride is perfect. Smooth, flowy, velvet gravel, plenty of rolling pavement, 
very palatable. And the Opus did primo perfect for that ride. The Opus is essentially a road bike with gravel sensibilities. It takes up to a 42, but currently I have 40s with fenders on it. Carbon fiber, double ring, hydro brakes, ready to party. For doing road and gravel equal distance, this would be a perfect setup. If you're looking to do some chunky gravel, I don't know if this is the bike for you. But M plus one, add to the quiver, they're tools. Each tool serves a different purpose. You don't try to hammer a nail with a pair of scissors. You don't try to sew a stitch with a pair of pliers. You don't use... Uh, right. Hey, Perk Dog. Probably what I'm doing. I'm trying to get to a computer so I can subscribe. To everything has been done. That's why I'm wearing my aero helmet. If you want to see more of Dustin's videos, click here. If you want to buy some of his merch, click here. Oh, I gotta go. Fuck, gorked.